Yeah. Good evening. Hello. Well, first things first, I'm going to look up myself. See if I can find myself. And if you can see me, of course. I think so. Yeah, there I am. Hello. So, can you see me? Can I see you? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome. On a Monday evening. Yeah. <laughs> That's a strange night for me here in Elizabeth Craft Designs, but Els is on Hochanda um, tonight, uh, two times, so I'm filling in for her. And she is on Hachanda with the new collection, the Picture It collection with the new square journals. And I'm going to work in, the, in one of those journals tonight. Hello, hi Els. Yeah, you did great on Hachanda. And you're going back live in, one, in a half an hour, I think. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I'm going to start. Um, I think most of you have seen the new collection already. Else has shown it uh, in a live last week. Um, in, in this collection has two square journals. This is one of them, the ochre one, and this is the black one. I didn't have much time. Uh, my daughter had her birthday last week and we had a birthday weekend. So, but I am going to alter this journal as well. A lot of uh, girls already have done that, but um, it's so much fun to do. You can just put a gesso on it and acrylic paints and you can do all kinds of things with it. So I'm going to do that this week. I don't know when, but I'm going to do that. The ochre one has a pocket here and the black one has pockets on the inside. So you can use that as well. So these are the two journals that go with it. I'm going to put it aside because I'm going to make pages in it. So um, I'm going to make a lot of pages. So I am, I, I don't know how far I am coming in one hour, but I'm going to try to finish it. Uh, before I do that, Last Friday there was a live as well and as you might know if you comment, like and share this video you can win uh, a gift certificate and um, I'm going to announce the winner from last Friday and that's Marianne Janssen. Marianne Janssen you won a gift certificate from the giveaway uh, from last Friday the 26th of March. So congratulations Marianne. That's, of course, very important to say. So if you like, comment and share this video, you can win one as well. It's always fun to win something, right? There you go. Where are you? Oh, New York. Oh, I love to see where you're all from. <laughs> it's so much fun to see. Well, I'm from Holland, the Netherlands, <laughs> of course. You can, and you might have already guessed. Okay. I'm going to try to explain what I use and I'm going to uh, show you as well. Oh, this is just for fun. I made these with those sh uh, shrinking papers, you know, and these are from the stamp sets of the Picture It collection. It's so cute and I'm going to use them in my journal as well. It's, it's so much fun to do. I just wanted to show you. It's, you can do so much with the collection. Okay. First things first. Good. From the UK, oh, Honora, hello. <laughs> um, this is the first one I'm going to show you. This is all our journal specials. So the butterfly pockets. I don't know if it's shining too much because of the light. The summer journal pockets, specials, the um, uh, mystical winter collection. Traveler's Notebook, and this is the Picture It collection. This is the standard page die. Ontario, hello. <laughs> yeah, you, you are living in the UK. <laughs> oh no, in America, I'm sorry, yeah. Ontario, oh, it's so much fun. Oh, Mariana is here as well. Oh, congratulations, Mariana. There you go. <laughs> 
So what I did, I uh, cut out this page with a page die. What I did next, because you see the film strip here, is use this die. Oh. I placed it on the edge like this and I cut it through the machine again. So now I have this at the end of my page. Because this die, one die, uh, one part cuts, the other part doesn't cut. So you get an edge, a film strip edge. And there are more edges. There are, are five edges and they are called uh, the My Edges dies. It's one package. So that's what I use for this. And I'm going to try to show you because I used the zipper. I used uh, this one. I used the heart. I used the labels. I used a lot. And I'm going to show it all to you today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hi, Charlene. Yeah. Charlene only lives 10 minutes away from me in the same city. Good. I'm going to start with the stencils because the picture it uh, collection has new uh, stencils and they are all cute, very fun to use and they are, yeah, I love them all. I'm going to open this like this and these are like a bit of a rainbow but I also saw a euro in it, a euro sign. <laughs> I'm going to use two of the stencils today. I'm going to use this one, the hexagon dot stencil. And I'm going to use the squares. I wanted to use those stencils today. Hello. <laughs> yeah, the film strip edge, Jennifer, is really nice. But they are all very nice. And I can, I can show you, I will show you in a bit that they can be used in a different way as well. But this is the first way I wanted to show you. You can really create an edge on your page. I'm first going to use the square stencil. And for that, oh, did you see my background? My background is actually one of the uh, papers from the Rainbow of Happiness paper sets. It's, it's like a, a big one to work on. It's not for, for sale or something, but it's not fun to work with when you do a live. So, I should have cleaned it. So, I'm going to use this stencil and I'm going to use it with modeling paste and for this technique i'm going to use a textured uh, modeling paste you can also use a heavy modeling paste a thick modeling paste for this yeah my way of storing the dies is just to put them on a4 magnet sheets and this is a, an office show map, they call it in, in Holland. And these are just A4 magnet sheets. And this is the way I store my dice. There are plenty of ways to do that, but I like this way. So when you have a thick modeling paste, and this is a textured modeling paste, but you can use a heavy uh, relief paste or modeling paste as well. You can use it to this stencil. I'm not going to use the whole page, but I'm going to do this part. Why? Because I want to stamp on this part. And I'm going to use this in a different way. But first, let me put the, this on here. Uh, Tamara, can you please explain how you dye the ends of the paper? Um, yeah, I will do that in a minute because I have the modeling paste on my hands. It's quite easy. I'm just going to use my hands, my fingers. I'm going to just add the modeling paste through the stencil on the page with my fingers because I don't want it to be perfect. If you want it to be perfect, you can use a palette knife or something. 
but it's not meant to be perfect. <laughs> I'm trying to read the comments, but I will miss something sometimes, I think, because I'm trying to work as well. But I will try to answer questions or explain things. And it's always fun to see how you guys interact with one another. Hello. <laughs> Hi Tracy. So just rub it on the paper through the stencil. That's the thing with mixed media, it doesn't have to be perfect. I think this will be enough. Just a little bit more here. And that's it. That's it. I can, I will do this in the water. I have a, a bucket of water next to me. <laughs> Not just throw in the stencil. And I will clean my hands. Fort Collins. Hello, Kathleen. Uh, normally you have to clean the stencils right away if you want to keep them clean but I'm, I'm doing a live so I don't I can't so I'm just putting it in the water and I will clean it after the live that's no problem either I have to make a bit of a noise and if you don't want to have dirty fingers then just use a pellet knife but I really didn't want this to be perfect I wanted it to be a bit crunchy. Yeah, did you watch Els? Me too. <laughs> well, I tried to watch Els while preparing for this live. I don't know if it's cheaper. I don't know. Um, it, it's certainly cheaper, but I don't know exactly how it works with the prices and in different countries. I have to dry this quite good because I'm going on it again with my fingers. It has to be dry. I think it's dry. Once I've done this, I'm going to color it. I missed Janet, but I'm going to watch it again. I'm going to use the Distress Crayons this time to color. I'm going to use these three, the Earthy Tones, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to use these three. And I'm also applying it. Oh, that's my son. He's going to say <laughs> good night. Good night, honey. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Ah, and my daughter. I'm sorry. I have to say goodbye because they're going to bed. Not rest of the Not Mama. Do you I'm sorry. Um, I need a bit of water for this. A bowl of water and my distress crayons. <laughs> um, you can color it just how you want to color it, but I had these new crayons and I not, never used them before and I just thought it would be fun to use them. And I'm going to use them in an easy way. I'm just going to color it. I'm going to color a bit. And then I'm going to smudge it with my finger and a bit well, with a wet finger, with the water. And I like the crunchy look of it. And 
this is really a textured modeling paste, so it's not going to be perfect, but that's fine. And you can use watercolors if you like, or you can use acrylic paints, or you can use whatever you've got. But I had this, and I thought it would be fun to use. Going in with the ochre. So... Now, yeah, it's a bit late and my children are going to bed, so. You see how you get a great texture from the stencil with the modeling paste? It's so much fun to do this. And this is the lighter color. I'm going to use that as well. But I thought these colors uh, match the paper quite well. So. so I have to do this on my craft uh, mat. This is fun, right? Looks great. And just use a wet finger and put it on there. And don't mind the other side because I'm going to color it as well. It's going to be fine. A bit more of the yellow. That's the way I wanted it to be. That's it for now. Good evening. <laughs> I had never used them before, but I do love the effect. You see? It's, a, it's, really, it's really fun. You can also use the, I don't know if you know that, the Neo Color 2, the Neo Color 2. They are also crayons. I think it can be used in the same way. Going to dry it. Yeah, these are from uh, Tim Holtz, the Distress uh, Crayons. And I like the colors. show you something. I'm going to cut my, oh, I will just put this away because it will be all over my table if I don't watch. First I'm going to answer the question that was about the edge die. I first cut out this entire page with the page die. That was the first thing I did. Then I took the film strip die, but you, it, it's the same for the other edges uh, dies. One way, this way, this part, this cuts. The other part doesn't cut. So you can just place it over your paper like that and run it through your machine. This part, this part will not cut, so then you will automatically get an edge like this. I hope that answers the question there was before. But you can also just, I, I just took a, a, a piece of black paper and I just placed my die on it and run it through my machine. I did that with the film strip die and I did that with the special 
die that's this one and you can use it in another way as well so this bow these both create edges but you can use them in a different way as well and that's what i'm going to show you now did you lose connection tamara no. you can always watch her back i'm just going to cut this off Now I have these great embellishments to use. I'm going to use my, um, my cutting machine, my paper cutter for this. And it's not going on there completely. So it doesn't matter if I do this. And I want a straight edge, so that's why I'm using this. But I can also cut it, of course. And I hope I'm doing this right. I do think so. Yeah. This is going on here. I'm going to do the same to this one. Yeah. And this is ready. I can also uh, add some splatters on here if I want to, but I already have some white effects on there, so I won't do that. I did that on my practice piece, but I, it's not necessary to do that on this one. And I'm now going to use... the film strip on here like this so now I have the edge and I have my embellishments I can also use it here if I want to maybe I will do that and I will use this here you can play with it I'm going to cut this off I want it to be a bit smaller so I'm going to use that here and I think I'm going to use this one here yeah still a bit wet but first I'm going to use the zipper and the zipper well I will explain to you I have to find the stamp set yeah this is the Polaroid embellishment stamp set and I think it's the number one this has a, a, a zipper stamp on it so I'm going to use the zipper but there's also and I hope I haven't lost it I saw it just before I went live I have to search it Do -do -do -do. Where, oh, where is, oh, here. There we go. There's also a die. Um, a zipper die. That's this one. And that is um, part of, and I have to look it up. It's part of a set. A die set. And it's part of the... Um, what is this? What is this? What is this? The puzzle page set. So the zipper die is in the puzzle page set. I'm going to use both the stamp and the die. So first I'm going to stamp. And I'm not... Did I lose you? Because I can't see you anymore, but I hope you can still see and hear me. Can you still, can somebody tell me if you can still see me or hear me? Otherwise I have to start all over again. I don't think you can see me anymore. Uh oh. 
let me see. Oh, I do think you can see me. If you can't see me anymore, then I, I, I think uh, somebody will let me know. Ah, okay, good. I can't see myself, but I'm glad you can see me and I can see uh, the comments. So I think it's my laptop. Good. Thank you. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> so I use part of the uh, zipper stamp on here. And... Now I'm going to glue this one on and I have a zipper. It's it's easy. <laughs> it's easy and so much fun. So good. This will go here and I will glue this on the page. And I will only glue the top part, so the uh, bottom part will dangle a bit like a real set zipper. There we go. Good. There we go. So, this is what I've got up to now. It's not that difficult, isn't it? Is it? it it's, it's, the, the products are gorgeous, so you don't need much to get a great effect. I have some pictures. I have a lot of pictures, but I printed some pictures and I used my selfie printer to do this. And I used um, a collage, uh, oh, wrong one, a collage uh, app to do this. And I, now I have these cute square pictures and I'm going to use some of them on these pages. And I'm going to use this one because the colors match. And I constantly, I'm going back to my dies because I want to show you what I used. I used, uh, I used these squares. These squares are a bit off, you know, it's a bit of a uh, crunchy squares. And I cut one and I'm going to place my picture on it. And it's part of the, uh, what's this set called? The polar, no, not the Polaroid page. I think you have to help me, Ilse. The sealed name, not the sealed pocket. I lost the name of the set. But it's part of the set. Um, so this is one of the squares I cut out. I will place the picture on there. And the picture matches the colors of the page. And I will use the word special on there. I will glue it down. Place the picture on there. Like that. And then this page is ready. Zoom. So you see, you don't have to, uh, you can use the edges for, well, as an embellishment or as an edge uh, die. You can just play with it. It's still a bit wet, so I hope the glue stays there. <laughs> and I have to use a bit of glue on here. I will do that at the bottom, like that. I will hold it down for a minute because otherwise the glue doesn't have a chance to set to the page. Good. I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to the next page. You can work quite fast because the pages aren't that big. You see? That's one page. Then the other one. On the other one, I'm going to use, where is it? The Polaroid. The Polaroids. 
and I am going to see, let's see what, which one I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one. And for this one, I have a picture of, my, of me. So you just uh, don't. Bye, Honora. <laughs> see you next time. Um, I have a picture of myself. And I am, um, this fits perfectly. This is done with uh, the selfie square print printer. And it fits, fits perfectly with the die from uh, uh, the Polaroid, Polaroid page sets. I'm going to place that here. Like this, I think. Or do I do it like this? I don't know. Let's see what we will do. First clone to glue it all together. You see? It fits perfectly. Charlene and Ilse really thought about this. It fits the Polaroid pictures. Um, and I want to use the film strip as well. And I'm going to stamp a word on there. I'm going to stamp a look at me. It's in the same stamp set as the zipper. You have the add look at me stamp. And well, it's a picture of me, so I can use it. Um, let's use a smaller one. So, the stamp sets have a lot of ads, ads look at me, at favorites, at home life. It's really fun to use. Ads look at me. Because this is me. going to do this here and Anna is just reminding you if you like and comment on this video and share it you can win a prize I just maybe I'll do this here like yeah a bit oh, good that's nice yeah you can see me. You cannot only see my hands, but this is me. <laughs> oh, this is actually a sticker. I don't know why I'm putting glue on it. Because it's a sticker, but okay. And then this one. It's easy, right? You, it's it's really not that difficult and I should have used double adhesive strips behind this die but this will work too good <laughs> yeah, this is me. You can see me now. It's always the, it's not very personal to just see your hands, is it? Now you have a face. We cut off the rest and I'm going to the other side. So this is one and it's it's like it's one page so if it happens to be I will show you if I place it you have three of these elastic uh, things and you can just place it behind one of them and if it's going to be in the front it matches but if it's not that's fine because it's the separate pages as well 
so I don't have to stress out, well, oh, does it match? No, it's just fine the way it is. So that's this side. So I have the film strip edge, I have the loose film strip, I have the special uh, die, the zipper, the square, the stencil, well, it's all on there. Then we are going to the other side and I have to also do my sample. And for the other side, I'm going to use this. I've already die-cutted everything, otherwise it will take too long. I have all these things to use. You see? And I'm also starting this page with a stencil. And this time I'm going to use the honeycomb dot stencil. That's this one. And let's see. I will use it on this side like here and again i'm going to use modeling paste but this time i'm going to use another one just a smooth modeling paste yeah <laughs> denise you've got two screens now else and me well it's the same collection we just say different things we do different things <laughs> good like this now I'm going to use my palette knife because I want to have a smooth effect. And this is just plain modeling paste, nothing special. You can buy it everywhere. There we go. This is going into the water again. Yeah, it is hard to start with a, uh, a white page, Diane. I can really imagine. But just watch, uh, you will see a lot of examples of the design team. And you will, oh, something fell, I don't know what. Um, we will try to inspire you guys and um, we are going to do that all the time so if you go to the group one of the groups the ECD planner and uh, journal page or the ECD uh, family page you will see a lot of examples uh, as I always say if you're, if you're still learning or you don't have any inspiration just go there watch it Watch the pictures, watch some lives maybe, and you will get some inspiration. And for me often it is like, okay, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use at least one product like, well, okay, the Distress Crayons. And if you know what you're going to use after that, the ideas will come. I have to dry this again because I'm going back, um, I'm going to use the crayons again. with my hands so it has to be dry there we go I think it's dry yeah so I'm using the crayons again and I think I'm going to use the same colors a bit more of the yellow maybe this time because I'm going to use these colors on there so more yellow here and a bit of brown here yeah I'm going to get the water again because I'm going to use a wet finger to do this. So, these are the crayons. You can also die cut. Uh, from the design paper because the paper itself is beautiful enough. I use the paper for to cut die cut these pockets. And now I've lost you completely. I 
I hope you can still see me. Yeah. I don't know why my computer does this, but I can't see myself. As long as you can see me, I'm fine. A bit more yellow on this side. It's an easy way to color, isn't it? Easy and fast. Good, thank you, Brooke. I don't know why my laptop does this, but I can't see myself anymore. As long as you can see me, then that's fine. Now this doesn't matter. If you don't want to have this effect, you can use gesso underneath. But I'm going in with uh, dies and pockets, so it doesn't really matter for me. I can leave it this way. But if you don't want this, use gesso underneath and you don't have this effect. So, those are ready. I have to dry it before I can glue on it. There you go. This is uh, watercolor paper, Diane. And you see you get a, quite a different effect with the stencil underneath or just a plain page. It doesn't really matter in this case because I'm going to glue over it with a lot of labels and stuff like that. So it's fine. Well, there's the jeans pockets. This is done with the jeans pockets die. And I'm going to fold it. There are lines. You can see the lines on it where you can fold it. And I'm going to glue it. This is going to be the jeans pockets. You can see there. Yeah. How do you say that? It's really fun to use. go yeah well, yeah now you have a jeans pocket really fun it's snowing oh it's it's really uh, it's really beautiful spring weather here in the Netherlands we had sun all day the weather was in the weekend was horrible but now it's sunny and it's warm and it's spring all over the sudden it's spring here for a few days. Okay, now this is one. Um, I can, I can, yeah, put something in there. That's no problem at all. Um, in this case, I'm going to use something on there. And I want it to close and open in. I can use magnets for that, of course. But I now have these. And I understand they are, you call them Velcro, Velcro dots, dots. We call them clitterband. But I, I, I learned today that it's called Velcro dots. Okay, I'm going to believe that. Because I really don't know. And I'm going to use that on here. It's the wrong side. Why? Ah, that's better. Because I want it to close. This is the little jeans pockets. Well, I can, I'm now using it in this journal, but you can also just put it on a card and put money in it when someone it's somebody's birthday. 
it's really a fun pocket. Does it work? So, yeah. Always try the first time. Yeah. So this is going to be on here. I'm going to glue, glue it on here. And then I am going to put picture on it, pictures on it. And I'm going to use the seal stamp. I have to clean that. <laughs> I have to clean my bottle. It's really, really cute, this pocket. Yeah. And you see the blue and the brown? Yeah, it really goes together. So, let's talk about the honeycomb dots. There is another one, but I used it uh, when I practiced uh, this. And what I'm going to do is to uh, tear it. And I'm going to use it in the background. You see? like that and where is the picture i have a picture i want to use for this yeah it's small but it's a picture of my son i have to make it a bit smaller yeah I'm going to use it like this Now it's a bit of a background. It's a super fun die. I will place it on here. And what I might do later on, maybe I will write a story about the day we were taking this picture and I will place it in my pocket and it will make a nice memory for later. Uh, I hope I have time for this, but I'm coming to do this. Why not? Um, I'm going to make a wax seal from a stamp set. The seal embellishment stamp set. And I am going to use a piece of the design paper to do this. Um, of course, I did not prepare that, so I have to look it up now. Where is it? I just need a piece of paper. Mm, yeah, let's use this piece. This is from, a, I think, the Rusty Weather paper set. What I'm going to do with this is use embossing powder. So I need my Versamark, my slow ink to do this. Um, my this one, I'm going to use this stamp for this technique. There we go. And I'm a little doubt about the, uh, I think it's okay. And why am I using embossing powder? Because it's a nice if effect. You get a bit of a shiny effect like a real wax seal uh, stamp. And the effect is great. And I lost a piece of paper. I think I will use this. Take it off. And I have a black uh, embossing powder with a bit of gold in it, but you can just use whatever color you've got. Good. There we go. I'm going to heat it so it will melt.
you get a bit of shine because the powder will melt and it will shine. There we go, that's one. And if you want to, you can use one of these stems in the middle. Uh, let's see, I will use the camera. There you go. And I'm going to do the same. I will ink it, place it in the middle. There we go. Put some powder on it and I will do exactly the same. I will heat set it again. Where are my scissors? I'm just going to cut it out. The brand of this particular powder is the WOW, the Black Magic. But you can use any powder, any embossing powder will do fine. You get the shiny effects. You also see on the real uh, wax seals, you know, you see it's, it's glossy, it's shiny. And I will just close my pockets with it. Like you close. With the wax uh, seals, the normal wax uh, stems, you I'm going to close my pocket with it. And yet another page is finished. You see? I also have this one, the little heart. Isn't it cute? I will use it on this page, I think. I will add it later. It's so cute. Yeah, I will add it later. So, last one. I don't have much time anymore, so I will try to hurry. I'm going to use this one. These are the sealed pocket dies. You can use them in multiple ways. I'm going to use it in the traditional way. I folded the edges, going to glue it on here. And this is, you can use it like this, so you can use it like that. That's the label that goes in it. And I have used the new paper, the Rainbow of Happiness paper, to die cut these. You see? So... And I'm going to be, I'm not going to do anything difficult. I don't have to either. Oh, I have one more Polaroid thingy. That's fun. You can use it on this as well, I think. Use it like that and put it in there. You see? Oh, that's fun. That's fun, but maybe for another time. And I lost you again. I have these strips, those picture strips, 
And which one did I want to use? I wanted to use this one, I think. Or this one. No, I wanted to use this one. And all I'm going to do is use ribbon. I will uh, place a ribbon on there. I lost my ribbons. Where's my box? I will find my box later. Just going to glue the pictures on here. And we'll place the label in here. This will have a ribbon on there. And that's it. Another page finished. If you want to, this is one of the... I, will, I showed you at the beginning, one of the dies. And you can just place it on there and add a text. And here you can just glue the pictures on there, you can place a text on there, you can just play with it. So, well, it was ambitious, but it worked. <laughs> I finished all pages. I will make pictures later, but this is just a few ideas how to use the new collection, the Picture It collection. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. And if you're hurry, you can still catch Els on Hot Chanda. I think she's still on there. I see you next time. Bye bye.